Good morning. Good morning. And God bless you, Pastor Irvin and Barrett, starting a brand new day, Friday, Friday morning, and the week is gone. How blessed we are that we can call on the name of the Lord, seek God, and share with one another early in the morning. God is great and greatly to be praised. This is Time with God Morning Prayer and Devotion. I'm Pastor Irvin and Barrett, and we are thankful that we are able to be here again and to have this privilege. I'm going to share with you a scripture, and after I share with you a scripture, I'll give you an overview of what that scripture is saying. And once we have given you a brief synopsis of the scripture, I'll give you a word of prayer where we pray for the requests that we've received and as well various people that God places on our heart and our mind. We'll pray for our world and pray for conditions, and then we will give you a parting blessing as we conclude our time of prayer and start our day. Can I ask if you haven't subscribed to our channel as of yet that you would take the time to subscribe? We'd love to have you as a sub subscriber. We'd love to share with you by way of prayer, praise, and proclamation. Our goal and our desire is to saturate our environment with the Word of God and to encourage people by the Word of God. And so we would love your help in that endeavor. And we encourage you as well that the Word that we share with you Simply share it with someone else. That's a part of our role as believers to pour and to share with others in the household of faith and as well in the world that they may become a part of the household of faith. So please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Give us a few comments, a few likes, as well as um, join our chat and uh, give us a thumbs up would be a blessing. And I thank you all for your for your continued presence and your continued support. Our scripture this morning is going to be found in Psalm, Psalms 23, Psalms 23 and 6. Psalms 23 and 6, it says, Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 23 and 6, the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever and ever and ever. I love reading passages of scripture that we're well familiar with, that we learned. In fact, Psalms 23 was the very first biblical passage that I learned in its entirety as a child. And I love returning to these scriptures that we've heard a million times and to have some fresh water from an old well. It is refreshing. This verse encourages us to embrace the fact that God is pursuing after us. That's how David pictures God. He pictures God loving us so much that he's running behind us, picking up the pieces, picking up the trash, picking up things that we're leaving behind as a parent does with a child. That is scurrying through the house, dropping toys, dropping food, dropping what have you, casually, cavalierly, without thinking about what they're doing. That's what God is doing in our lives. He's coming alongside of us. He's walking behind us. He's there with us in the midst of every situation. Uh, our hurts, our pains, our sorrows, our sufferings, our habits, our hang-ups, our challenges. He's right there cleaning up behind us. He's right there beside us, making sure that everything comes out well, even though it may not be well. He's there with us, making sure that his unfailing love toward us is constantly being exhibited in our lives. It is amazing to know that God is there for us. And because he's there, and because he's picking up the pieces and throwing out the trash and, and preserving what is good and for his namesake, continuing to bless us, we are kept by his power. God's mercy is God's unfailing love. His pardon and his forgiveness is made available unto us. God gives us goodness and provides for us protection. I'm thankful. And here's the thing that is so overwhelming. His mercy toward us means that he's holding back from us some of the things that we deserve, but he's allowing us to have some things that we don't deserve. His mercy is so great. And I'm so thankful for all that he 
that he's doing and all that he does. Share this word with someone. I pray that it's a blessing to you. I pray that it'll be a blessing to someone else. It's a, surely a blessing to me. And I pray that God will bless you to be able to bless someone else. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you. We honor you and we bless you. Thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. We can't say it enough. And even though it may sound redundant, your mercy and your grace is so amazing. Your love toward us is so abounding. The wonderful things that you continue to do and the opportunities that you extend toward us. We're so thankful. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, your unmerited favor, your divine protection, your your unfailing love that you continue to show toward us. You're, you're an amazing God, and we thank you for your amazing grace and your mercy. We pray and ask in the name of Jesus that you would continue to extend your hand of mercy toward us, that you would continue to allow your grace to surround us and to abound in our lives. So much we don't deserve, but we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the fact that you look beyond our faults and you bless us in spite of we come to tell you thank you right now. We come thanking you for this day, the start of a brand new day, the wonderful work week and the wonderful opportunities that you have afforded us and as well, all the blessings that you have granted us. Thank you so much for the wonderful things that you continue to do. I pray that you'll bless us throughout this day. As we start this day, we say, please go before us, make our path straight, surround us, go before us, Come alongside us uh, and as well come behind us, picking up the pieces. Surround us with your love, your mercy, and your grace. Thank you for all that you do and for the goodness and the mercy that follows us all the days of our lives. We pray that you will continue to show yourself strong in our lives. We come today praying for pastors and churches, for administrators and educators, Teachers, first responders, healthcare workers, civil leaders, and those in authority in the land, those appointed and elected officials, we lift them up unto you. We pray for protection. We pray for blessings to them, for them, and blessings upon their lives. We pray for grace and mercy and peace. We pray for our world to be a better place. We pray for peace in the land, peace in our homes, and peace in our society. We pray, dear God, that you will allow your hand of protection to be upon us and to be in the world and to be active in all things that we're a part of. We pray for healing and for deliverance. We lift up those that are in the hospitals and we lift up bereaved families, hurting families. We pray for peace all over the land and uh, in our individual lives. We come today praying for the homeless and lifting up John, praying for John in particular, and I pray God that you'll continue to meet his needs and touch his life and supply him with everything to sustain and as well that you most importantly will let him feel love, your grace and mercy, and your compassion. I pray for John and all of those that are homeless, whatever the circumstances and situations that have brought them to where they are, God, I pray that you would bless in the name of Jesus the Christ. We pray for Van Drummond. Thank you for the healing that he's received, the blessings that he has received, and we continue to lift him up unto you, praying for his life to be sustained and kept by you. And we pray for Greta and for Eric. We come today praying for Gordon the Blue and Jane, continuing to thank you for the wonderful things that you're doing in the healing process with Gordon. I pray that you'll continue to bless him, strengthen him, and as well, Help him to have faith, to trust and believe in your promises and to stand upon every, every word that you have spoken unto him. Continue to be with him. Thank you for Gordon the Blue. We pray as well for the family of Dominique Cravens, that you would continue to bless them, uphold them, and be by their side. We pray for, for Veronica and her family, Molly and her family, John Powell and Susie, Praying for Betty Sims, and again, thank you for that she had a wonderful report on yesterday. We continue to lift her up unto you and trust you for all things and believe you for her recovery, full recovery, and we pray that you'll make her better 
in her latter days than she was than she was in her former days. We pray that you will continue to bless her and be by her side. Bless Miss Betty Sims. Thank you for staying. And Renee, the entire family. We pray blessings upon them. We pray for Cheryl Grant, Pastor A.C. Stapleton. Praying for Pastor Luther Williams, Pastor Albert Haynes. Praying for Pastor Aaron Reynolds and praying for Pastor Byron Jackson, Pastor Fabian Jacko. Praying for Pastor and Sister Eddie Brown, Elder and Sister King, Deacon and Sister Jackson. The Cartwright family, Dorothy Smith, praying for Scott and Breaking Free, Adventure and Victory Ministries, Texas Muslims Women's Foundation, All in the Family Ministries, Hope Restored Missions, praying for the Armstrong family, the Braggs, the Coxies, the Johnson, the Rock, the Noble family, the Howard Sims, Calhoun, the Blue, Polk, Esposito, praying for Cassandra and Joseph Igana, especially praying for the Polk family and praying for their daughter, Thank you for the blessing that you provided her successfully coming through the bar. Now we pray for continued blessings upon her life. We pray for blessings in her placement. We pray, God, that you will open doors for her and bless abundantly. We pray for Doris Harris, Charlene Wright, Linda Bird, Sandra Thornton, Mother Rock. Praying for Raha Musafa, Derek Stringley, Kenneth Fabian in India, Matt Calvin Teterton. Denise D. Fairley, Darius Timmons, Terry Hornsby, Wendy, praying for Tom and Maria, praying for Steve, Mary, praying for Sandy and Sandra, praying for John, praying for James, praying for all of those that are at the Heritage, praying for Marvin, praying for Rose, praying for Timothy Cliff, Cameron Foley, Praying for Priscilla, and we're lifting up all of those that are part of the Shalom Community Fellowship Church. I continue to ask and pray that you will bless our church, bless our effort, let our territory be enlarged to do your will according to your divine plan. Thank you for this opportunity to serve and for the blessed privilege of, of being a part of your plan. I pray that you'll continue to bless, continue to heal, continue to deliver, continue to do great things, continue to work and move according to your divine plan. Have your way in me. Have your way in my life. Let my life be a service unto thee. I pray that you'll open doors that you want open and that you'll close doors that you want closed. I pray that you'll abundantly provide blessings and resources according to your divine plan and your protection. Please, God, hear and answer my prayer. I pray this day to be a great day. I pray that the places that we go, that you will bless us, that you'll bless our effort, that you'll help us to let our light shine, and that we will be impactful for the kingdom to your honor and to your glory. We pray as well, dear God, that you will speak on our behalf in places that we're not, in circles that we have not traveled in, we pray that you will allow us to be seen as favorable, that you will provide us with opportunities. We pray that what the enemy meant for evil, that you will mean it for our good, that you will turn around the trajectory of our lives and that you will place us on a firm foundation according to your plan, that you'll bless our finances, our health, our mind, that you'll keep us focused on thee, that we will see your will and your plan and that we will follow after it. As you come alongside us, God, we pray that you will continue to order our steps, continue to direct our lives, and that you will hear and answer our prayer. We pray that we're, ble we're a blessing to those that we come in contact with, whether it is in a casual setting, whether it's just in passing, in interaction, through exchange, whatever it might be, whether it's a coworker, a neighbor, a friend, or someone that we may never, ever see again. I pray, dear God, that you will allow that interaction to be impactful to your honor and to your glory, then you will get the best out of us in every situation. Please, God, hear and answer our prayer. And pray now for the one that's having challenges and difficulties starting their morning, starting their day, dealing with anxiety, overwhelming situations. I pray, God, that you will remove those barriers, those hindrances, that you will 
take away those psychological challenges and that you will bless abundantly and that you will equip us, fortify us, prepare us for the day, prepare us for the journey, prepare us for what's to come. God, please hear and answer my prayer. We pray as well in parting that you'll bless our businesses, our every endeavor. We pray that you'll make it a success, that you will grant increase and divine favor that you will not just add, but that you will multiply. And we pray that you would do that in all facets of our lives, that you'll multiply our blessings, that you'll multiply and increase our influence, that you will multiply all that you have in store for us according to your divine plan and purpose. Please, God, hear our prayer. If you do these things, we'll be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor. Now, and forevermore, it's in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ we pray. Amen. And thank God. Blessings to you, Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett. This is Time with God morning prayer and devotion. Thank you for being here, whether you're here in the morning or whether you're here throughout the day or you're returning, whatever the case is. Thank you. I hope that it is a source of encouragement, inspiration, and enlightenment. I pray that God speaks to you and that God works in your life and continues to bless you. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, I ask that you would please subscribe to our channel and as well, give us a thumbs up, give us some comments, a good morning, a God bless you or whatever the case. Or if you'd like to send your prayer request, you can email me. There's an email address in the chat. It's very simple. It's simply my initials, pastor, P-A-S-T-O-R-I-L-B at AOL.com. That's one of my many email addresses, but that's probably the easiest. And yes, I've had it for 100 years. Pastor ILB at AOL.com. Give me an email, send me a message, or message me through the social media platforms. If you have prayer requests that you want us to share or you want, want me to play something on my personal prayer list, which I have as well, uh, that I present before God on a, on a regular basis throughout the day. And so let's pray together. Listen, I want to ask that you pray for me that you would lift me up, that you would pray for my family, and that you would pray for my church and to pray for my life and pray for my family, my children. Pray that you would pray for us as we pray for you. Have an amazing day. God be with you. May he surround you with his love, grace, and mercy. And may you be kept by his power. Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett saying, listen, there's nothing that's going to happen to you today that God has not already equipped you and prepared you to handle. He's already given you every tool, every resource, everything that you need to be successful in every venture. So walk in faith, walk in favor, trust and believe God, knowing that God has it all under control. Have a great day. Be blessed and thank God for what he's doing. We bless you, God. Hallelujah to your name. Blessings on your day.